my uh, sphere of work is all about uh, certification for airships uh, that are uh, being developed and will be created by the joint stock company. So working at uh, uh, while working at Afgur, I uh, was responsible for a certification of airship uh, AU-12M, uh, double deck uh, cabin airship. We received the certificate of the Russian Federation and uh, also attachable uh, uh, pilot uh, airship. It was at the old Russian Exhibition Center now in Sochi. And there we also received a special certificate of the Russian Federation and European Union. I would say that this uh, all the two certificates uh, that uh, were recognized in the European Union, uh, Aerolift, for example, it was also an airship. I, I would like to say the following thing. According to the Air Court of the Russian Federation and similar laws in other countries, uh, all the civil, uh, uh, civil uh, pilot uh, airships uh, with a total mass uh, of uh, 150 kilograms are subject uh, to obligatory uh, state certification. It means that you can build, uh, uh, design an airship, but uh, it will not be authorized to fly. It will just stand on the ground. And uh, since uh, all the projects presented here, they have a way uh, bigger mass than 115 kilograms, uh, they are all subject to obligatory or compulsory uh, state registration. I would like to say that uh, uh, procedure of uh, such certification, uh, they are regulated uh, in line with the existing uh, civil uh, rules. Uh, but uh, as for obligatory part, uh, the so-called certification basis uh, for uh, this uh, 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 airship uh, subject to certification. What the certification basis? This is a set of rules uh, that uh, this aircraft uh, should comply to in order to meet all the state requirements uh, and uh, to ensure the required level of uh, safety. That's the point. Well, actually, any uh, aircraft has it. Uh, uh, well, you understand that. Uh, as uh, for a certification basis, uh, it is usually developed uh, uh, based on adopted uh, norms uh, of uh, uh, air navigation adopted by uh, uh Air forces and authorities. I should say that at present in different countries, uh, we have uh, different uh, the projects or drafts of uh, such norms that cover a whole variety of uh, such. Uh, uh, guided uh, airships and started from small ones certified to normal category number of seats is no more than uh, nine uh, passengers uh, up to transport airships uh, for 20 uh, uh, plus seats. Uh, so in terms of uh, uh, norms, uh, rules, etc., they quite exist in the world. I mean, for airships, uh, we know that. So uh, in all the countries in the world, uh, there are certain rules, and these rules, uh, uh, or uh, aviation rules and norms, uh, they are harmonized uh, with each other, so that, uh, that airships and aircrafts uh, used in Russia uh, with uh, some validations, additional validations, can be also used uh, in uh, uh, the airspace of other countries. Uh, that is why we have the opportunity to develop our certification basis uh, uh, used for our aircraft. So we can use uh, uh, existing uh, developed uh, norms um, for, for example, German, American uh, airships, uh, we they also have it, we have it in Russia for a category up to nine seats. And based on that, we can uh, come up with a certification basis, we can apply to the corresponding authorities of the Russian Federation, get uh, 
all the necessary documents and proceed to a certification. Specialists are from uh, our enterprise work in close cooperation with professors and employees uh, of uh, the Department of Certification of uh, the Aviation Institute, and they have enough competences uh, uh, to uh, uh, come up uh, with all the necessary certification uh, procedures uh, and uh, uh, confirm the requirements of this certification basis uh, based on certain uh, calculations and some, uh, I don't know, on-ground uh, test experiments, uh, flight experiments. So any uh, flying objects uh, is subject uh, uh, to such certification and actually it should be handed over for that and in order to get the certificates uh, uh, you're supposed to have a special normative base, yes, and it exists. And if it's not in the Russian Federation, it exists in the world. And the practice is that we can work based on that. It is uh, not uh, like uh, officially accepted, but this is the basis because actually uh, there are no such uh, flying objects. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, we can see that uh, all the laws and rules in aviation are written by blood. Uh, we know why it is said. So, first, a project is developed, and there, uh, when it comes uh, to large scale uh, maintenance and uh, exploitation, then uh, some kind of norms become a law. But so they exist these norms, uh, except for high rise, uh, how big heights, uh, uh, the drone. Uh, uh but we'll be able to use our airships that will be uh, used with the, with the pilots, of course. There are certain norms behind that. These norms exist, and we just need to keep on working on that.